So Assen in the area we're going to is up in Invercolly Estate. It's in the far northwest of Scotland and it's probably one of the most remote parts of mainland Britain. Uh, and up there, it's a very special place. It's probably one of the oldest landscapes in Britain also. So there's the Lewisian Nice that all the mountains sit on, which is a big open plateau that is full of many different lochens as we'll see when we're up there. And above that we have the Tordonian sandstone. So that landscape, the Lewisian Nice, stretches back to 3.6 billion years ago. So it's pretty old. It's a very special place to go to. It's an amazing place. It's one of my favourite trips that I run. Just because it is quite remote, there's not many people there. There's the odd fishermen you might meet, and that's about it, really. So, the mountains, the mountains up here, then, a lot of people go in and they walk to the mountains. So, like, something like Solvin, for instance, then, they, they walk all the way in there, and it's a massive walk to foot the mountain. So, for ourselves, then, we're going to take canoes, and we're going to load up our canoes with a week's worth of food and tents and equipment, and we can paddle down some big and stunning walks all the way into the foot of Sylvan, which gives us a smaller walk up into the top. So it's probably one of the best ways to investigate around these hills of Stack Polly, Sylvan and Colmore. Because it's quite a low-lying landscape, then all the weather from the sea tends to, tends to hit you there. And people have been known to be trapped on islands because you can't canoe off them. So the camping when you're canoeing is completely different from hiking. Or the lights, you know, when you're hiking, you're carrying everything on your back, you get dehydrated foods, things like that, that uh, make your stomach churn around and give you bad feelings. So when we're canoeing, then we're eating pretty damn well, so we, we pack in loads of food and we can have good food. We can get in, you know, we can carry potatoes, for instance, which you would never do if you were hiking, and loads of fruit, vegetables, and we can also <laughs> uh, carry some drinks with us as well, because we're not going to carry any of it. <laughs> A lot of the group wanted to have a wilderness experience uh, and to see what it was like to be, uh, I guess, detached from the norms of life for uh, so long. And I think we've definitely been put through our paces through that process. <laughs> I was attracted by the just the combination of, of a way for several days in the wilderness and the canoeing and the mountains, just getting away from everything. The peace of it, you know, you can just find a moment of peace that then that kind of gives you a spiritual uplift, doesn't it? And then, and then you take that way with you. and just being surrounded by these lovely mountains. Um, you can't get here by road. There's not many people. We saw one other boat yesterday with a couple on it. Um, you really get a feel that you are in a remote place, in a wilderness place, and in a really special place. <laughs> 